Sound. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barber Shop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. We only got two games to talk about from last night. Opening day, uh, one of the better opening days that I've seen. Oh, but we just gonna get right to it, not even waste any time. Uh, one of the better opening days as, as far as the games and how close they were. And uh, a couple of them really weren't that close, but then they just swung or what have you. Like the uh, Boston Celtics, we're going to talk about the Celtics and the Cavs first. Celtics and the Cavs, that game really wasn't as close as the score indicates. But it ended up being a really close game. The only thing that I really say that anybody should be taking away from that game is... Um, you know, Kyrie did what we expected him to do. He had a double-double. LeBron did what, he, what we expect him to do. He has a double-double. But the thing that I don't think anybody saw coming besides the Gordon Hayward injury is how well Jason Tatum would play. Like, he played, he, he was thrust into a situation where he had to perform. Like, nobody saw Gordon Hayward getting hurt. And you never see an injury coming. But at the same time, he got a rookie in Jason Tatum that... He's been told since they since they acquired Gordon Hayward that you know you're gonna sit behind Hayward, you're gonna get limited minutes. You know, you might get 10, 12, 15 minutes max a night. And then that's what you're that's what you're ready for. That's what your mind is ready for. And then knowing that at a moment's notice, we all know that at a moment's notice you can be thrust into action because anybody can get hurt. But not only was he thrust into the action, but he was able to perform. It's one thing to know that like when you come into the league like LeBron James or when you come into the league like Kyrie Irving and you know you're going to be the guy and you perform it's one thing to know it but it's one thing it's another thing entirely to to be told that you're going to sit on the bench and you're just going to be a relief player but then you're struck you're thrust into the starter role 6 minutes into your rookie season 6 or 7 minutes I, I don't know when Gordon got, got hurt but you're thrust into the to the starting role more or less and not only that but you're expected to perform and to my, and for me he performed magnificently like this is pretty much what we saw. We we knew that he was capable of doing this because everybody saw him playing well in the summer league. But at the same time, I didn't think that. I mean, in the summer league, they were saying he was like a volume shooter. He just shot all. He took all the shots. So he did. He did make the shots. Or you know, he scored a lot of points because he didn't. He never saw a shot that he didn't take. Last night, I mean, I thought he was pretty judicious. He played team ball. He he did what a lot of people were thinking that he would do. Uh, five for twelve. Uh, 14 points and 10 rebounds, a double double in your rookie act in, in your first game, and you didn't start, and you had, and you weren't even expected to start, and you go from expecting to play 10 to 12 to 15 minutes, and you're forced to play 37 minutes. I, I think there's nothing short of great for someone like him. But at the same time, there's always room for improvement. Like I said, shot selection can be a little bit better and all that good stuff. But all of that comes with time. Like I said, I'm just impressed at how he responded because a lot of people are put in that situation and they do not respond. It just it happens. I mean, it's the NBA, it's professional sports, and like I said, when you're expected to do one thing and then and then expected it, you expect team to do one thing, but then become all of a sudden you're expected to do something else. It's very it's very uh, difficult to do. But hey, he he responded greatly. And if there's any type of silver lining in this for the Boston Celtics, like you never want to see any get anyone get hurt, obviously. But um, if there's any type of silver lining. The thing is, you get to thrust Jason Tatum into the action right away, and now he's going to have to play, perform, and learn. And, uh, you know, the player that we thought that he was going to become, we're going to be able to see sooner than later what he's going to be. So, hey, he, he might have to be the truth or the new truth for the Boston Celtics. But, hey, it is what it is. So, on to the next game that we had last night, which was Houston versus Everybody Hates Golden State. That game was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I think the only thing that I took away from that game was this. Draymond Green is the cog that makes that team go. I mean, they're up there, you know, obviously they blew a, a lead in the first quarter and then the game was tight after that. But going before Draymond Green went out of the game, the Warriors were up 10 points. He goes out and they, and I, I can't say, I never like to say that the team imploded. But at the same, because that that's taking credit away from the team that actually played well and, and weathered the storm and came back and beat them. But at the same time, without Draymond Green, I just don't know how many games that team wins. Now, obviously, they can play without him. They're going to figure it out, or they will be able to figure it out. We don't know how long, how long he's going to be out or if, if he's going to be out past the day. But it just shows me that Draymond Green really is the card that make that, makes that team go. I mean, he does all the dirty work. He defends the best perimeter player or just pretty much whoever he can handle that's kidding you. That's who he defends. He makes the passes. He brings the ball up court. He's just like the point center at the same time. 
you know, it's just like you got the luxury of having two players that can distribute the ball, but the offense really goes through him a lot, and the defense definitely goes from goes through him, and he's the emotional leader. So, Draymond Green means a lot to the team, and and with him being out, you, you see what happened. The the, uh, the the Warriors lose the game because Houston comes back. That's not taking anything away from James Harden. He had 27 points last night, and um, Chris Paul really didn't do anything at all. But I mean, hey, he was out there, so you know. Obviously, he didn't play well, but, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, every everything is not on the stat sheet. So, you know, him not playing that well. He had he had 11 assists, though. So, he just didn't shoot the ball well, but but he did play pretty well. So, it is what it is. I wouldn't sleep on that game, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. I just watched the highlights. So, looking at that, that just tells me everything that I need to know is that Draymond is... It's really the card that makes that thing go. But I don't know, man. You guys let me know how well you thought CP3 played. Just looking at it, um, I did look at I did look at the Cleveland game. I looked at that the whole way, except for when Gordon Hayward got hurt. I just I, I turned my head on there. I couldn't watch that. Uh, I just played a pro-am game until the game came back. But the uh, the Rockets and, and uh, Warriors game, I watched the first half, and then I just went on to sleep, man. I, I can't deal with that. That's a West Coast game, man. Nobody don't watch them guys anyway. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, um, just, just looking at the stats, uh, we're we going to need more out of CP3. But they won the game, so that's all that matters. And one one person that did surprise me, though, was um, Eric Gordon. I mean, him coming off, the, coming off the bench, having 24 points, and then going to the rim with that crazy dunk. I mean, I was just like, hey, I didn't even know who I was. Like, I didn't even know Eric Gordon could dunk. Like, that's really where I was at with that. But you know what? Hey, he played well for him last year. P.J. Tucker played well. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. They're looking like a force to be reckoned with. But I really think that this is more of a reflection of Draymond Green going out of the game than um, than, than anything. And that, uh, you know, the Warriors just, just didn't seem to be able to recover after that. Like I said, in the long term, of course, they will be able to recover because it's a good team. It's a great coach and all that. But, you know, having somebody like that taken away from you just like they did in the finals, it's, it's going to hurt you every time. But anyway, man, that's all for the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know. This is the question that I got for you guys. Like I said, what should I put right here? Because I want to put something right here. Should I just put highlights in the background? I think I am going to do that. I'm just going to have highlights of the games in the background and stuff like that. Uh, sub if you're new for daily 2K content. Make sure you like the video. And if you like 2K and all that stuff, come sub to me on Twitch. Watch me on Twitch. And uh, let's just talk basketball and have a good discussion. But the question of the day is, was... The Warriors losing last night. Obviously, it's not a cause for concern. So, two, two, two questions: Was the war the Warriors losing last night wasn't a cause for concern? But was it more of an implosion, or was it just that the uh, Rockets weathered the storm, and or, or did it just really have everything to do with Draymond Green? That's number one. Number two: Did you expect Jason Tatum to respond the way that he did when he took over for Gordon Hayward? Do you think he can keep it up? And um, What's going to happen if, if he continues to play this well? Like, this is really all you need out of Jason Tatum anyway. They're going to beat any other team that they play, really, if he plays that well. So, were you impressed with it? Did you expect him to not do as well? Or, or what, Or you know, what did you expect? And how do you expect him to perform going forward? Let me know down in the comments, man, uh, what you think about that. And now, uh, like I said, we're going to have this a little bit more silky smooth on tomorrow. I have the format and everything, you know, a lot better, man. But uh, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Be six out this month.